Hey guys, good afternoon. So, me and Paula are currently at a wildlife reserve. I can never remember the name of it. It's not easy to remember. Um, but it's up the mountain a little bit. It took us about an hour to get here and I got very travel sick in the car. Uh, so I'm not feeling great right now. I'm hoping that the fresh air and the walk will help. But I'm not looking forward to the drive back down. It was like an hour of winding roads in the car and we were late so Paul was trying to make up time and we went quite fast and yeah it just I don't feel great but this should be fun there's wild Prowalski horses and bison and a lot of deer and we're walking among them like it's a, a guided walking tour so we're gonna head out with the tour guide soon but I wish I'd worn jeans because it was really warm down in Nice but now that we're up the mountain a little bit it's a bit more windy and cold at least I have a little jacket but I'm in shorts so hopefully the walk will warm me up. It's really pretty here. These are the Kowalski boats. All the Bambies are running. They're all running. There's a bison in the water there. Well, he was in the water, he was just getting out. So we're doing the walking tour, but there's also people who do the tour in the little horse-drawn carts. So I guess we chose the more athletic, athletic option. It's really nice, they have a lot of animals, it's so windy, I don't even know if you can hear me. But it's really, really nice. Our guide's giving us a lot of good information. Oh, look at his little tail. Aww. It's like horses when they're babies and they wiggle their tails back and forth. Oh no. Mum doesn't want to get poo on his head. Parce que ils sont en train de perdre la laine d'hiver et d'avoir les poils d'été. C'est pour ça qu'ils ont des, des taches avec mm -hmm. plus ou moins de, de poils à certains endroits. Il y en a une qui nous regarde là, elle ne nous lâche pas trop. C'est <rire> ok, love, you can keep eating some grass. On du coup, We're fine. on va monter un peu pour contourner celui-là et l'autre en dessous. Ils sont tous watching us. Trying to get closer to the deer, but they're 100% going to run away. So the Prowalskis, there was two groups of Prowalskis. One that we just passed was all male, and this one is. You said it was females and babies. Yes, and one male. And one male. Eight females and some babies. Oh, they're all over there. They're so cute. <laughs> they're running. This is boar hair. What does it feel like? Oh, it's softer than I thought it would be. Yes. Or oh, maybe it's uh, horses. I'm not really sure. Okay. Maybe it's. Uh, yes. Oh, the main hair, yeah. We came to niche. Sauf que les bisons en allant se baigner, ils ont tout écrabouillé. Et on a perdu plein de nids. Alors donc on a fait la clôture. Comme ça, les oiseaux peuvent nicher tranquille. Et l'autre partie où les bisons peuvent nager, enfin, se baigner. So apparently these babies are only between two and three weeks old, which is freaking adorable. Après il y en a quelques-uns. Quoi c'est fait les les bois les cerfs? Bye Bambies. I am totally gonna follow her. More bison. So many little babies here. This one is so tiny. Oui, il est en train d'enlever les la peau des l'hiver, quoi, comme ça, je pense. Il se gratte et ça enlève les parasites aussi. Oui. 
Oui, c'est que là, tu fais gaffe, quoi. Moi, j'ai des petits. Mm. Donc, bon, sinon... Faut il... pas toucher les... Non, il euh, n'y a les pas marquises. beaucoup d'animaux qu'il faut, je pense. Hein. Non. Little happy tail wag. So cute. Culture. Mm -hmm. En 2005, ils ont mis les premiers animaux. D'accord. Après, ils ont laissé à peu près pendant deux ans euh, s'habituer à leur nouveau territoire et à leur nouveau. Mmh, oui, il faut le temps, bien sûr. Et après, ils ont commencé à faire des tours avec les, les chevaux domestiques mmh. pour euh, ouais, habituer. Ouais. Et après, ils ont commencé à mettre des humains euh, au fur et à mesure. En fait, ils marchent, donc ils écrasent les arbres et si l'arbre tient le coup, c'est bien. Oui, mais... d'accord. <rire> no, no, no. Ça s'approche un peu. Hein. Il, il a survécu. À partir du 6e siècle, il est allé se cacher. Tu sais qu'il est enceinte, tu l'as adoré. Ouais, c'est possible. C'est vrai qu'il est Oh, little babies in the water. Et en fait, le, le cheval, il a été en danger parce que en 1879, mm -hmm. euh, Monsieur Prevalski, un, un grand militaire russe, l'a redécouvert en Mongolie et euh, il a eu un peu l'impression de, de découvrir un trésor. Mm -hmm. C'était aussi une période où on faisait des campagnes, des missions pour trouver des réserves et en fait il a copié un peu l'idée euh, des réserves africaines parce que là-bas on se balade aussi en, en 4x4 pour mm -hmm. voir des That's espèces locales et donc là il s'est dit que ça pourrait être pas mal de faire ça en France ouais. et comme ça les gens voient un peu euh, la faune qu'il y a autour de ces pregnant. parce qu'il y a plein de gens qui connaissent the one pas in the les, middle les there. animaux qu'il y a Ouais, surtout après en Afrique. Bison here. Oh wow. Ça doit être bien chaud. Hein? Oh. It is really soft. Cool. Si on avait le droit de vendre des ouais. parties, ça pourrait faire des choses. Ah oui, bien sûr. Oui, bien sûr. sûr. Exploring the little river. I have absolutely no idea what they're saying. The French is too complicated. Not a clue. Ah oui. Okay, so she was talking about how the dragonfly larvae dry themselves out, like they pop out of their little cocoons. And here's one! We found one! <laughs> Come here! You having fun? Yes, wild ducks. Wild ducks? Can I? Where? You didn't see them? No. But I'm blind. There, oh there. yeah, I thought you were pointing to like there. And then I'm gonna fall over. Would have been very funny. Yeah. For you. Yeah, it's a really nice park here. It was nice that I'm glad we did the walk and not in the back of the the horse carriage thing. Uh, we definitely got a lot closer to the animals. And it's quieter and we were really lucky, it's only the two of us with our, our guide the tour before us, there was like 10 people, so um, that was really nice. No, I mean, there's not that many animals, it's just um, bison and Prowalski horses and some deer. But there's not many places where you get the opportunity to go so close to them, so it was nice. And I'm feeling better, less travel sick, <laughs> so that's also good. <laughs> Bye ponies. How do you like cut your leg open? Stop, let me see. Oh my god. I'm not showing you anything. So proud of you, honey. <laughs> my new life achievement. Did you have fun? Yes. You liked it? Yes. Yeah. No, it was real cool. See the bison. What was your favorite In the beginning, thing? we came a bit too close for comfort for me. To the bison? Yeah. No. They were all like eyeballing me like... Yeah, I know, but they're not going to... Oh, we didn't do the shop. We have to do the gift shop. You know me? Paul loves a gift shop. It's his favorite thing to do. I don't even need to buy stuff, but I just want to see. I know. It's cute. Oh, you should get yourself one. Yes, so you have like a little companion that you're not allergic to. 
Oh, we still need to see if we can do the dog walking at the do? the refuge. The dog walking thing. Mm, I'm so tempted to get a dog. I want a dog. I'm pretty sure you will bring a dog. Huh? I'm pretty sure. So what was your favorite thing today that mm. we saw? Um, that we saw? Yes. I think, I think the boar. I really... It was a quick... Was that a boar? I thought it was a baby bison. No, they might look the same, but it's a boar. Oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> Apparently we saw a boar. Yeah, we like startled him. He was sleeping. Yeah, by accident. We startled him by accident. We didn't like purposely ah. jump out at the boar. <laughs> yeah, he ran away. Yeah, no, that's because there are very like hidden animals. You don't really see them out there, you know. Yeah. Out there you can see them, horses definitely, and then the bison's okay. Yeah, that's different, but no. I like seeing the baby Prowalski horses because they were super cute, the way they were running around and stuff. And the baby bison. The baby bison. They were really sweet too. They had a lot of babies. A lot of babies. It was nice. Baby animals. So this place is called what? It's... Are you okay? I have leaflets. He's giving me leaflets, but I have no hands to read the leaflets. And he's getting naked. Reserve de Monde d'Azur. Reserve de Mont d'Azur. 30 minutes de grâce. La vie sauvage. The wildlife. I mean, it's good. You would not need a whole day. Where are you going? Oh. Yeah, you wouldn't need a whole day to be here. Like, the, the walk was an hour and a half, which was already longer than I thought it was going to be. But it really is only the area that has the animals in it is just I mean it's a huge field and a forest which is a great area for the animals but there's nothing else to do so once you've done your kind of walk around see the animals that's basically it right mm -hmm. but it's nice to do for like a morning or an afternoon it was fun yeah she, very nice as well. yeah, she gave us a lot of good information so oh, Paul wants me to drive his car because then I won't get travel sick, hopefully. Which is true. But I've never driven a car this big before. It's not a big car, honey. It is a big car. It's, you, it's you, a big car. Do you think this is a big car? Uh-oh! <laughs> what do I do? Open it, silly. Oh. Let's go. No. Here she is. Oh, that's my finger. She's doing well. Oh, all these sheep. Look. Don't look at all the sheep. But look at all the sheep. Oh, there's a roundabout. Oh, no. Oh, boy. How's she going to come up? Oh, no. Did I go straight here? Where are you no, going? you take a roundabout. A oh, road. There's a road there. Yeah, you go straight here. But not straight on the roundabout. No, I know. No, but like the questions you've been asking the last hour, I'm just making sure. Okay. <laughs> First time I've driven an automatic and first time I've driven a car that's over like 1.2 liters. How many liters is your car? Only 1.4. Oh yeah? But the, yeah, that's so it's economical, but the uh, turbo makes it 160 horsepower. I have no idea what that means. Your car uh, has like 50 horsepower. Uh, okay. so it's like a little bit more powerful. So we made it back down in one piece. Unfortunately, I still felt a little bit travel sick even though I was driving, which is very strange. It shouldn't really happen, but feeling a little bit better now. We just headed home to get changed and now we're heading out to dinner. Yes. Where are we going for dinner? Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. It's an Indian restaurant. I haven't tried it yet, but one of the guys at work said it was really, really good. It's written Taj Mahal. No, it's T-A-G, but that's Taj. Okay, sorry. Um, I love Indian food, like I love a good curry. I'm Scottish, we have Indian restaurants on pretty much every street corner. Scottish people know how to handle their curry. Like, I love it. And I introduced Paul to mm -hmm. curry when he came to Scotland last February. He'd never had a curry before. I'm pretty sure I had a curry before, but not like you guys do it. No. Rice, and, uh, chicken and, 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 and yeah. naan bread. <laughs> 
So yeah, we already found a really good Indian restaurant here in Antibes. Um, it's called Planet Bollywood. Anyone by any means watching this who's near Antibes and wants a curry, go to Planet Bollywood. The people are lovely, good prices, amazing food, good Indian curry. Now we're checking out the Taj Mahal in Villeneuve Loubet. So we will see what that is like and I hope it's good because after I get travel sick I get very, very hungry. Like as soon as I don't feel sick anymore I'm starving so... And I'm always hungry. And you're always hungry. So I am really looking forward to this and I hope it's good. So hungry. We made it. Time for food. You can start. Yeah. Well, we've got enough food to feed an army. I mean, we had to wait almost an hour for it, but it's here. Wait, bon appétit. Easier. Bon appétit. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I just filmed this whole thing saying about what happened after dinner and it didn't record any of it. So basically, we went for dinner, we came out of the restaurant, we saw someone lying on the ground in between two cars with their feet sticking out. Uh, no idea what happened, so me and Paul went over to see what was going on, because uh, we both have first aid experience, so we thought it might be a good idea if someone goes over, if no one over there knows what they're doing. And it ended up being this very elderly woman who is lying on the ground, bleeding a lot from a head wound and from other wounds on her arms and leg. And knee. And knee. The arms. Um, but she was conscious and she was talking and stuff so that's good but no one was really there who had any idea of what to do. So we went over, all I did was cover her up with her cardigan. Um, and someone had already phoned an ambulance so we just kind of waited for the ambulance and made sure that she was okay. But yeah. She w she lives here for 30 years apparently, but she was Dutch, so it helped that I could speak a little bit. Really. Yeah, so Paul Paul could translate for her, which was good, and talk to her and see if um she could stay a little bit more calm, <laughs> which was good because otherwise it, she could have started freaking out because her injuries were quite well. I know an elderly person always looks worse than it actually it always is, looks worse. but I mean she was bleeding a lot. Um, but I hope that I hope that she'll be okay. So yeah, a bit of an exciting end to dinner. <laughs> Unexpected. Unexpected end to dinner. Yeah, apparently she just fell over. Like she had had two glasses of wine at dinner. That's probably the cause. Yeah, that's I'm what thinking, I think. I'm thinking now that's probably the cause. No, I think that is what happened. I think that she had a little bit too much to drink and then fell over. Um, but yeah, she. I'm sure she properly smacked her head off the concrete because it was. It wasn't just bleeding from a little side, like it was bleeding the whole the back of her head. So I think, I think it was quite bad. But no, I couldn't just walk by and leave her. I mean, if it had been a situation like someone was unconscious or not breathing or whatever, we would have been able to do a lot more until the ambulance arrived, or the firefighters, because in France it's the fire brigade that come, not an ambulance, which is very strange. But we stayed until they arrived anyway, and then we got back in our car. So. And now we're home. So I think that we're going to go in and just watch a movie and then go to sleep. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah. Just chill after our adventure. No more I buy, okay? I don't need air anymore. No? I've already <laughs> done that by standing there. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit like below. And if you guys want to see more from me or us, considering I only really ever vlog when we're together, <laughs> it's basically us anyway, uh, then hit the subscribe button and you will know when the next time is that I make a video. And I will see you the next time I make a video. Bye!